But what is management? Management, the way I say it, is getting work done through other people. So work done equals outputs. Work is something that's when it's done, it's not just the doing of the work, but it's the result, the output, something that should be visible and, and in many cases tangible and in many cases measurable. But if you're getting the work done through other people, why do we need managers? This next slide will show you a little bit about that. There's one guy in this boat who's not like the others. That guy doesn't have any oars, for one thing. He's very much smaller than the others. He's facing the other direction. He's not even dressed like them. So what's he doing? He's actually managing the work of all those other people. They're doing all the work to move the boat, but he's aligning their work to keep it in sync, to keep their, their rowing in sync, and to keep them in the right direction. He's actually the one facing forward. Everybody else is facing backwards. He's the only one who can see where the boat is going. And that is one of the main benefits or outputs of a manager, which is to align the work of everybody else to the direction of the bigger company. So another way to say that is management is getting the best work done by defining what that work is and aligning it with the company, with the goal of the company. And many times the managers have a perspective of what that goal is that the individual workers don't have. So you can think of it in a certain way that managers have two jobs. One is to help people do their best work. And then the next is to align that work with the goals of the company. And the most important output of a manager is to define your people's output in terms that are visible and in many cases measurable. The manager's output det depends on the level of management. And there are three levels in every company of management. So a team leader, also called uh, in many companies a supervisor, their output is an efficient and effective team that produces the team's best output. So the team leader is actually producing, helping the other team members so that the team as a whole produces the, their best work. The output of a, the next level up, a middle manager is very different. Their task is to allocate resources to accomplish a job or a project. They're usually given a budget. They're given a definition of what the project is supposed to look like. And they're given some resources, and their job is to make sure that they've allocated that resource appro appropriately. Then the top level is usually at the CEO level, particularly of an SMB small company. And their output is strategy, the goals, the directions, the plans, and also strategic relationships. The top level outputs don't change very much in an SMB. And that's because the company usually has limited resources. Level two middle management in small to medium businesses is often ad hoc and it's often informal. And that's usually fine until a company gets big enough where it needs dedicated resources to do this on a regular basis. Here's a couple of takeaways for you to think about and to decide in your company. One is to look for the gaps in your management stack. Are there pieces of pieces that are missing, or are there people who have maybe the right title and they're in the right position, but they don't have all the right skills that they need? The second takeaway is which of your managers is filling more than one level of management? Is somebody who sets the strategy also allocating resources, or is somebody who's allocating resources also a team leader? And then the third thing to think about is, are your evaluations of your managers and your support for your manager's performance, are they adequate? Are they doing the job that you need to do because you're now managing managers? And think about these three different takeaways.